who couldn't sleep last night. No, not because of her. Though Vicky didn't make things easier. I mean, just look at her. Anyway, I just couldn't get what happened to Freddy out of my head. I had to figure out what he was working on and what he wanted to show me, but there's no way I'm going to get that information out of Kincaid. Also probably because he doesn't know. Freddy was really good at keeping it close to the chest. I wouldn't have expected anything else. Oh no, this isn't in my place. Belong to a buddy of mine who's asked me to house it for him while he's on an extended course upstate. You know, the type that makes you wear orange jumpsuits and have the numbers on it. Anyway, I'm looking after the place while he's away. It serves me well. Great view, enough room to work out. I can use it as my office at the same time. Vicky loves it. Anyway, I couldn't shake the feeling that whatever Freddy wanted to show me, perhaps it was what got him killed. And when he called me, it sealed his fate. Someone would have to have known he was looking into something he wasn't meant to. That could be the subject of his investigation. A career criminal? Or even a cop? I know, I shouldn't jump to that conclusion yet, but after the shit I saw in the force, it isn't far-fetched. Freddy saw it too. He just knew how to play the game. Me? I couldn't even stomach being on the roster. I need it out. No, I can't think like that. I can't condemn the cops yet. I've been away from the precinct for, for a long time. They could have got rid of the bad apples by now and replaced them with good, honest cops. No, I was taught innocent until proven guilty, and that's what I have to stick to. Jeez, oh, my head's all over the place. Good coffee. Most vital piece of equipment. The second, a laptop and a connection to the internet. Since I can't just walk into the PD and check out Freddy's office or look at his casebooks, I'm going to have to find the information elsewhere. And that means CIs. People both of us used in the past. And since I've not been a cop for a while, I'm a little rusty as to who's still in the game. I mean, not being a cop also means I have a better chance of these guys talking to me. want to reach out to me instead. Email from Henry Corbett, a cop in our own precinct. He wants to meet me at Griffith Park Observatory in an hour. Promising. Good PI work does require some skill in detective work, but I gotta admit, a lot of it is blind luck.
hints will be good too. think about that right now. The kudu was a gift left to me by my brother. I admit I haven't taken good care of her but she still gets me from A to B. Sometimes C. Dalma, Dine Rabatta Yeshlas Entelis Gurmen you boy, Kokoya to Neza continue your business. Kakya Mogu Tipi Pamach Yastari Slavi Yao Marayo Kakthal Koya Rutu. My sin, but she never pass up us not see. Lute about Zanim. Chatur Hoshi Shobi Yadalal. Women yad yes be suck Lute. Says Nimi Nusho Imedello. Tengi ne problem. She thought it over pulling him. Spatsibo. Always hesitant about revisiting anything to do with my time at PD, except for talking to Freddy and a few other people I play poker with. Henry was a patrol officer when I met him. Fresh out of the academy, he was wide eyed and idealistic, like every new cop. When I left, he had just become detective. It was right after the incident. I hate talking about it, 
but for your viewing pleasure, I will relive what is probably the worst moment of my life. It was a car chase, and it ended on the Vincent Thomas Bridge. A high-speed pursuit which then turned into a hostage situation. Freddy and I responded. We were close by. We were told to wait for SWAT and the negotiator. Not only was the hostage taker very jumpy, but his captive was a young, up-and-coming Hollywood star. Time was not on our side to wait for the hostage negotiator. So we acted. Look, how about we get out of the rain? We'll go sit down, get a cup of coffee, and talk. You can let the girl go. Get back. I said get back or I'll kill her. I will kill her. I will do it. Look. No one needs to get hurt here. Let the girl go. We can talk about this. Come on, man. Just let her go, okay? She's got a new movie coming out next week, and everyone's talking Oscar-worthy here. Come on. Put the gun down now. Back up or I'll kill her, I swear. I will kill her. You're completely surrounded. You're not going to go anywhere. No one has to die. Just let her go. No! The patrol officer thought he had an opening and he took it. He was just a millisecond too late. We just felt so helpless. We just watched as this girl just died right in front of us. We didn't know what to do. I really do love this city. There was an inquiry, of course, into the shooting, but the PD didn't want the bad publicity, so they covered it up. As far as the official report goes, the hostage taker shot first. The patrol officer just responded. No charges were brought to him, but he's now sitting on a desk. Unfortunately, these kind of cover-ups happen all the time. I couldn't be a party to that, not anymore. So I left. Not a day goes by I don't think about that night. What I would have done differently. Maybe I would have handled things better afterwards. Spoke up. Told the truth. But instead, I shut my mouth and just left like a coward. Now, as a PI, I actually get to help people. I've only got myself to answer to. Now I gotta find out what happened to Freddy. Speaking of which, let's go see Henry. See what he has to say.
target will be on a yacht off the coast of Santa Monica. He will be heavily guarded and it will not be easy to approach. Whatever method, however, is purely at your discretion. The yacht will be leaving port the day after tomorrow. I recommend this be taken care of with the utmost speed. Thank you, Mr. Carr. We will be in touch. Yeah, that's Henry's car. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm really sorry about Freddy. He was a good man, a good cop. Yeah, he was. Okay, Henry, I'm here now. What is it that you wanted to tell me? I need to tell you something. But I have to ask you something first. I need you to be straight with me, or is my ass on the line? Okay, I'll bite. Ask me anything. Why did you quit the force? What? You heard me. Honestly? After what happened on the bridge, I just couldn't take it. I even tried to get IAD to open up a file. They just wanted to sweep everything under the rug, and that was heartbreaking. So there wasn't a case opened? No, there wasn't. Now what's this all about, Henry? <sighs> Freddy came to me, asking for one of your old files. It was my week in the cage, so I was in the position to get it. He took the file and asked me not to tell anyone about it. Bribed me with the Lakers tickets. He came back three more times, doing the same thing. Each time with a bribe or something. And not signing any of them. Okay, fine. So... What else? Out of curiosity, I looked at the files. I saw that they were all internal affairs folders. All of them instigated by Detective Thomas Denrose. My files? I don't know what he was looking into, but I think he was carrying out whatever the hell you were working on. Damn it. Did you see what was in the files? I don't know. I don't want to know. Did you tell Kincaid? God, no. I didn't know who to talk to. I have no idea who I can trust there. I mean, if that's what got Freddy killed, I don't know who's involved. All I know is you're not a cop. So you're probably the only person I can talk about this. Makes sense. I don't suppose you know if CSI are finished with Freddy's apartment, do you? Probably not. 
they're not there now. Then tomorrow morning. Right, the funeral. Look, Tommy, watch your ass. If your father somehow were responsible for Freddy's death, whoever killed him could be after you. Well, that's a comforting thought. All right, Henry. I'll catch you later, okay? Yeah, take it easy. Hey, Henry. Thanks, man. Watch your back, Tommy. Sorry, I got a full day today. I didn't hear you come in last night. What time did you and Freddy finish? Actually, we didn't. Freddy was killed last night. What? Oh my god, what happened? Somebody broke in last night and killed him. That's all we know. And I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do? I'm fine. I've just got to talk to someone. Wait, are you investigating it? Well, I'm not, not investigating, that's for sure. Look, it's Freddy. I owed him everything, and... You gotta understand, I gotta find out who killed him. Just... please be careful. I'm gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna see you real soon. I promise. Bye. Time to go to work. Something tells me Benny's not going to be able to fix my car this time. Love I have is in my mind 